Hey guys, my name's Neil. I'm a data scientist at TIPCO. I work with various analytics products, including Spotfire. You might even know me from the Dr. Spotfire monthly webinars we do. Um, we thought we'd kick off a weekly tips and tricks section where we're going to do some short, quick, focused videos, and we hope to just kind of keep them rolling. Um, just hopefully maybe one or two a week, uh, showing on something uh, very specific, and hopefully that will help you through the analysis you're working on. So today I'm going to do something with maps. Uh, I was recently at TIPCO Now in Chicago, and I was showing this analysis, this dashboard, and I got a lot of questions on how did you make that map, that, how did you make that map background gray? Like how did you style it that way? And it's actually a very simple uh, feature in Spotfire with TMS and WMS layer. So today I'm going to show you a little bit about how I did that. So with this dashboard in particular, I'm going to go to my properties and I'm going to show you my different layers. Um, I have this TMS layer in here, which you can add by going to add and map layers and TMS layer. So today I'm going to talk about TMS layers and WMS layers. It's really quite simple to use. All you do is you go to uh, the settings or when you go to add the layer and you put in a URL to a tile map service, a TMS service. Uh, you can put some copyright text in there if you want. Uh, and that's it. You just hit update and you go. So this TMS layer here, you can see in the background. So where do you get these TMS layers? Well, there's actually a community page that we have on the TIPCO community. It's called Geoanalytics Resources, WMS and TMS layers. So you can just go to check this out. And below we have a multitude of examples of free and paid uh, different layers. Now, uh, we don't uh, do any of the paid layers. These are all coming from third-party services. Um, you can see the list of these services right here. Uh, I, put, I try to put the free ones at the top for you, um, but there's also some really great ones that are paid. Um, one of them that I'm gonna show in a little bit is actually uh, live traffic, which is really kind of really cool to see. Um, now, even though these are paid, they're really not that expensive. Uh, usually they're like a few bucks for several thousand uses, uh, several thousand accesses uh, per month. So it really is something to consider if you really want one of these layers and it's paid, don't be discouraged. Um, but all you would do is, uh, you know, here's a traffic one, is you would, you would copy this URL and you just, again, you, you paste it right into your Spotfire map layer. Now, if you're going to a paid source, it might have something here for your app ID and your uh, app code. So that's like your user ID and your password for whatever account you have set up with one of these paid services. Um, so you would just copy and paste your ID and your code into the URL and it'll work. Um, so there's really, there's two types of map services. There's a tile map services, which I just showed you a little bit of. And there's also a WMS, uh, which is a web map service. Um, this is over here on the bottom of the page. Um, you can get things like live weather, um, you can get things like geology, uh, wind speeds, river and hydrology. Um, you can just pull these right in. Uh, I put some links here for you as well. Um, and then there's some sites where these are actually sites you can search. Uh, these top links aren't sites you can search, these are links that you just copy and paste right into the analysis. So for instance, if I wanted to copy, um, let's say this weather one, and let's put this into my analysis. I'll add this one as a WMS layer, and I'll paste this in. Now, one thing about these um, WMS layers is that they might have different sub-layers that you can add. So you can choose which one of these you wanna add to your map. Um, I'll hit close here, and um, this should update. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. And here you can see the weather. So there was no weather in my New York City area, but there's like some storms down in Texas and there's a storm kind of coming in to New York. Um, so you can see that live weather with the TMS and WMS layers. You can also always change the transparency. So that's just in the settings for the layer. Um, you go to general and you know change the transparency if you'd like so that it doesn't really obstruct the other data you're trying to show. So that's a WMS layer for weather. Now I have this other analysis I wanted to show you. Um, this one is on a simple routing. Um, here I've used just TMS layers and I have one for satellite imagery. Um, I have the live traffic one shown here uh, and I have street detail. So I can hit satellite here and it's gonna convert all, it's gonna switch on all my satellite layers so I can see that in the Seattle area. Um, 
my live traffic here. So, you know, I live in Seattle and looks like the traffic's pretty good right now. I'm not really headed this way. So it uh, looks like I'll have a quick trip home. Um, but these are examples of different layers you can add. And um, when you add them, you can also um, add a copyright in there if you'd like, um, if you need to. So in settings, you can add this copyright text and that'll show up at the bottom here with the, the copyright little uh, logo. So that's about it. It's a quick demonstration on how you can add like live traffic, live weather, uh, different colorful backgrounds. Uh, hope you get to use some of these and join us next time. Thanks.